right, welcome everybody. Good evening. Welcome to the City of Gilbert regular council meeting. Today's date is October 22nd of 2024. And time is 6.01 p.m. Uh, present is interim clerk Mike Skirbick, Councilor Potnin, myself, Mayor Smith, Councilor Pullis, and Councilor Skinzich. Also, Chief Teacher and Public Works Director Sam Lodiger. If everybody would please stand and join us with the, for the Pledge of Allegiance, and we do have a quorum. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And I don't believe we have any additions. So we'll move on to the consent agenda. I'll move. I'll support. Moved by Councillor Polis, supported by Councillor Skinnich to approve the consent agenda. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. None. Motion carries four to zero. And do we have any public input tonight? Any public input? Thank you. We'll move on to the reports from Mayor and Council. Um, all I've got to say, and this is from my past career, is uh, with November coming up, keep in mind the calendar parking. Park on the right sides. Thank you. <laughs> Councillor Ponnet. I don't have anything tonight. Thank you. Councillor Polis. Uh, the only thing I have to say is the uh, gazebo looks pretty cool, so thanks for decorating. I would that. agree. Councillor Skinzich. Uh, nothing tonight. Thank you. And we'll move on to reports from staff words. And we will go with Chief Teacher. Uh, good evening, Mayor Council. The thing I have this evening is uh, we looked into getting cameras for up at the water tower and the lower tower. Uh, we got the bids back, and in my opinion, they're a little bit high. They're about $11,800. <clears throat> and one of the main problems is because of the internet up there. Uh, and we cannot tap into the system that's in there right now due to the security features with the firewalls. So I'm going to be doing some research. Um, my recommendation, if we can get the price down under three or four thousand, would be to just uh, put one camera up there. Put one camera up there and just see how it works out rather than spending all this money that it may not, it may be fruitful to even do it. So, <clears throat> but the biggest problem is the cameras aren't that bad as the internet with the. Um, with the um, uh, gateways, which is the which were communication with the internet, those are eighteen hundred dollars a piece, and we were hoping we could just tap in to the existing internet. So we're going to try to find some other uh, options uh, for it. So, but uh, I'll probably come back with a much lower bid. But I don't think spending eleven thousand dollars is worth the money personally. So I think we can get it down to around that four thousand, five thousand. I think that's a little more feasible. And it's, they have tenure warranties, but the biggest thing they have to work on trying to find out uh, how we can get internet up there. And inside those towers, we just can't get pop and holes those towers and stuff, so we can put external antennas on. So there's a little bit more to it uh, than just plugging in some cameras with a hotspot. So, um, but I think that the price is a little bit high for it, to be honest with you. I think we can get that down a lot more. So I'll come back with something hopefully a little more reasonable. So. A side note, I, um, as we're having SEH negotiate our contract with at and I have no idea whatsoever here, but maybe we could see about some kind of an internet feed, be a part of that process. I'll reach out to our person who's working on that, and if I find out anything, I'll get back to you. 
Yeah, I was looking, I had talked to somebody at AT&T looking for some money uh, in regards to paying for the one campus power, but even if they would pay for two hotspots up there, uh, that would be the, that would be a big help for us. And then we can probably work it out with that. So uh, there's no reason why they can't pay for that. We're, we're securing, they must have $250,000, $300,000 at least in equipment sitting out there, so right in the open on the ground. So uh, it probably behoove them. I thank you for doing that, so we're moving back. Excellent. Well, not at this time. <laughs> well, Thanks. There's some things that need to be secured there, so if that's what it was, that's what it is, kind of thing. But <laughs> yeah, it's just there's a couple of things that came. I just it's just a little high. I think we can work around a little bit. So I don't want to spend it on that. Anything else, Chief? Thank you. Public Works Operation Director. I don't, uh, I don't have much other than uh, alley pickup next week, October 28th through November 1st. Um, all leaves and stuff and uh, grass and debris got to be in bags. Um, trees four feet and under, um, branches. Um, pick them up in the alleys. That's, uh, that's about it. They got the tree trimming guys going around, tree trimming in uh, the electrical right away right now, this week, and probably beginning of next week, and then it'll be done. But uh, other than that, we're getting ready for, for winter. Um, been talking with the, the, uh, the truck we bought um, that's at the, the body builder right now. So that's hopefully that's going to get start, started to be built here in the next week or two. So that's what they say. <laughs> so what they say we were supposed to be here a year ago. Yeah, weren't we supposed <laughs> to get it a year ago? <laughs> which I, I would thank council, this council, for buying it, which hopefully will <laughs> be here still. Or we'll get it before you guys leave here in January <laughs> or something. Just, just pull by the house. Oh, that's good enough. Yeah. So, but other than that, I don't have anything else. Thank you. And we don't have anybody else. Uh, interim clerk, Mike. Uh, mentioned this other planning meeting, but uh, tie out all the FEMA information and send it out to the county, work with the right spot, or work with FEMA right now. I may reach out to Ty in the next 24 hours to go over some details. I've got the information that Michelle had. Dealing with Wayne Lambert now in the state. So we're moving forward. I opened the portal today. He filled in a bunch of stuff for us. So we're heading in the right direction. I will have a cover letter for you in the morning. And uh, I'll redo the, some of the projects. So we get 31 claims. We'd like to see if they done the last consolidate some of them. So I'll take care of that in the morning. So if I need you, I'll, I'll reach out. And then uh, IRRB, we met with them two and a half months ago, about six weeks ago, I sent them all the stuff I was supposed to fill out for the community center, and they are kind of the agent, even though the bonding money came from the state, it came from the TAC fund, so they're kind of overseeing everything. We have a presentation on November 12th, 12th. I believe. To go back in front of them, but even though I filled out all the reports like five, six weeks ago, they sent me a thing they wanted an engineering proposal thing done. Uh, I'm working with SEH to whip something up for us, so I'm moving forward on that too. That's all I have. Thank you. And we have no old business tonight. We'll move on to new business. First up is accept resignation from Blake Bistido. He was our most recent hire for the wastewater treatment plant. He uh, put in his resignation. Pretty straightforward, his wife's a veterinarian there starting a new business in Hibbing, and he's been working at that for the last six to nine months, and 
even though he wanted to be in the operating business and he started back here, he felt he didn't think he could make it work and, you know, take care of what she needed too. So he resigned right away so we wouldn't have any further difficulty. It's unfortunate. Trudy really liked him. Sam liked him. We all liked them. He had the credentials, so I don't. I don't know where we'll go from there. But I would like somebody to make a motion so I can repost that job. I'll make a motion. To, to let's do the motion yep. to accept. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the accept one first, then. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> I'll second. Motion by Councillor Pullis, supported by Councillor Skinjic to accept a letter of resignation from Blake, and I won't torture his last name again. <laughs> um, any further discussion? So that goes into the hometown focus then only? The Not first, the sorry. first. Just the hometown and then the other journals that, you know, are cover wastewater treatment plant? Like we did last time, same thing you did last sure, time. Sure, I did right. both last time. Yeah, right, same thing again, yeah. 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 Any any further discussion on the resignation? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. None, motion carries four to zero. A motion to repost. Move. Motion by Councillor Polis. I'll second. Supported by Councillor Skinzich to repost for the position for the wastewater treatment plant. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. None. Motion carries four to zero. And item B, Jamnick survey proposal. Basically, if we want to sell that property, we need to clean up the survey and get the legal description done properly. I think it'll be way cheaper having John do it than somebody else. So, Paul's in here. I believe it's nine hundred dollars. I'd like to get that approved so we can move forward with that work. I'll make a motion to approve JPJ Engineering for such services for nine hundred dollars. I'll support. And motion by Councillor Skinjit, supported by Councillor Pullis, to approve the proposal to survey the property. Do we have a physical description other than Dakota Avenue East? There's parcel numbers on here. But... I don't know. It no. Okay, well, there are parcel numbers. For the parcel numbers, 060-0018. Dash zero 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 one zero and zero 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 one zero. Any further discussion? Just let the people know that that nine hundred dollars will be added to their cost for the lots. The, the purchaser. That would be written into a contract. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. None. Motion carries four to zero. And personnel committee recommendation. That's gonna go to a special. We're gonna, session, yeah, so. we'll be moving that into a special se session for next council meeting. And do we have any miscellaneous announcements? We have none. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Move. Moved by Councillor Polis. All support. Supported by Councillor Skinjic to adjourn our council meeting at 6.16 p.m. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. None. Motion carries. Meeting adjourned. Get your